kam koto nu puta ata ini mana ata awo bosu nu kene kwa governor onye me ka o possible in spite of the challenges enwe kene head of service onye silong dishona iba ga tata ana emeze na december but uh, the police is not at all at all, not in bad. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. So, uh, I'm assuming no. When I tell you, I'm going to go to the governor. He will talk to you like the father he is. You will recall that barely a year ago, about this time, he was also here with, with us. Obro governor, Ogam. Keta, Obro governor. Anything up was loan. Now, if you in a pocket, take it to the bank. Okay, I want. He was talking as a politician. Kita, he will be talking to you as the governor of Anambra State. So, uh, when on the day, um, my own is just to greet you, welcome you, and welcome, welcome, you, and welcome all the distinguished guests that we have here. Dalon, Chukugo Zion. I'm asking you, Administrator, retired Permanent Secretary in the Civil Service of Alhambra says she actually retired in the Ministry of Education. Good morning, everybody. I'm invited here to do a paper or to talk to us on work ethics a mechanism to improve performance management in the public service. Thank you, the head of service, and as a matter of fact, Anambra State Government for this invitation, an opportunity given to me to address us on this auspicious topic. The vision of Anambra State Government is to create a livable and prosperous homeland for the Anambra. And in order to achieve this vision, the public servant, as an engine room of the government, shall be repositioned to deliver prompt and quality service within the resources available to the state. What is then performance management system? It is a tool by which employees' performances, goals, and objectives shall be set, tracked, assessed, and reported. It shall also be used for managing, measuring, and to improve individual performance in the public service. Hence, we shall be looking at some of the tools to be able to achieve this all-important performance management system. And the first tool we are looking at is professionalism. This is an attitude portraying commitment, dedication, and willingness to render quality service for the benefits of the clients, who is the public. This should be the utmost desire of every public servant and shall be inculcated and demonstrated at all times in undertaking your task as a public servant.
distinguished guests and my fellow workers. As you can see, the theme of this year's celebration is coming at a time when our state has transited to a new administration. And this is usually a time the public service is expected to take stock of its performance for the year and give account of its stewardship to the people. This expectation is not unconnected with the fact that public service is founded on public trust and citizens expect that public interest and resources be served with fairness. Hence, the fulfillment of the aforementioned leanings of the public inspires public trust and underpins good governance. Operationalization of the Anambra State Civil Service Strategy and Implementation Plan 2022 to 2025. The federal government of Nigeria developed a framework to institutionalize performance management with the objective of promoting a culture of accountability, transparency, and meritocracy. To operationalize, to operationalize this, I developed the Anambra State Civil Service Strategy and Implementation Plan, ASIP 2022 to 2025 a blueprint designed through wide consultations with stakeholders and approved by the State Executive Council on 8th of August 2022. The document clearly spells out programs and activities under the six thematic areas which are aligned to the priority areas of Professor Charles Chuku Masoludo CFR, Governor of Anambra State. These six thematic areas are capacity building, performance management, service delivery, anti-corruption, digitization, and value proposition for stable servants. Capacity building. The realities of the digital world we live in and the pace of innovations they are in make it imperative that civil servants are regularly trained and retrained to meet the demands of their operating environment. Productivity and the efficiency of service delivery are greatly hampered or helped by the quantum of skills and competencies of civil servants. Regular trainings are desirable and should be embraced to ensure that worker skills and competencies are consistently up to date. Performance management system is provided for in the Public Service Rules 2021. This will replace the annual performance evaluation system and will ensure that service rendered meets and exceeds expectations of members of the public in accordance with the applicable laws. Following the operationalization of ASIP in the state, it is envisioned that there will be a change in behavior from bureaucratic red tapism to an entrepreneurial result-oriented and innovative public service. It is paramount to know that government is dependent on a resourceful and efficient public service for implementation of its policies and programs. This makes it imperative that the public service should deliver results timelessly. Anti-corruption. On the drive to bring corruption to zero level, both the Anambra State Anti-Corruption Strategy, ANSACS, and the Service Compact with All Nigerians, SAVICOM, have been operationalized to discourage corrupt practices in the civil service. Culture orientation and change management have been initiated as mechanisms that will drive the civil service to the next level. This explains why our standing operating procedures, SOPs, are now focused and driven by core values of accountability, meritocracy, professionalism, and efficiency. Value proposition. It is worth pointing out that Mr. Governor is poised to appoint permanent secretaries who are going to be transformational than transactional. To this end, a written examination and proficiency test has taken place and we await the oral interview 
that will precede the announcement of new permanent secretaries in the state. The appointment of permanent secretaries will position the service to serve Indianambra better. To achieve this, Mr. Governor has graciously approved the ICT training of civil servants, and this will take place as soon as the approved funds are made available. Going forward, there will be more trainings in other areas to improve service delivery. On the other hand, ICT facilities need to be provided to make the Anambra State Civil Service technology driven. Virtual meetings are now very popular as they save time and cost and can hold even at night or weekends. Provision of laptops for use by civil servants as work tools will be highly appreciated. Braille writing software for workers with visual impairment is also needed to ensure that the digitization of the service is inclusive. Staff welfare, remuneration, recognition, and reward. I call them the three R's. The Public Service Rule 2021 recommends that states should consider an upward review of staff salaries, promotions, as well as a new recognition and reward system. This will make the service attractive to the caliber of talents needed for its modernization. From payment of dues and entitlements of civil servants will encourage them to maintain consistent performance levels. A transparent system for identifying and rewarding workers who stand out in the discharge of their duties also needs to be instituted so that workers are motivated to give their best to the service at all times. One of the major enablers of the six pillars of the ASIP 2022 to 2025 is staff welfare. In pursuance of the above, Government is considering further steps to motivate the workforce. A proposal for the full implementation of the national minimum wage has been submitted and we await positive consideration. The Housing Development Corporation has also been engaging a developer in discussions for building low-cost houses for civil servants. For civil servants. I'm also expecting that there will be good news at the end of the day. The civil service bosses have degraded badly, and one has been at the mechanic workshop for nearly three years, thereby denying workers that apply a particular route the use of the bus. It is interesting to note that our governor has approved the repair and refurbishment of the buses, pending when he can give us new ones. The repair and refurbishment will be done as soon as the approved funds are released. Mr. Governor is also appreciated for prompt payment of electricity bills and provision of diesel for improved power supply at the state secretariat. This has contributed immensely towards the enhancement of the work environment. A salary survey conducted by budget in August 2022, reveals that 12 states in Nigeria are owing workers at least one month's salaries and eight owe six months' salaries. Eight states currently in Nigeria are owing civil servants eight months, sorry, six months' salaries. In fact, Mr. Governor has graciously paid leave allowances for 2022 as well as December salaries. What you clap for? I was awake all through last night. When the alert came in, I rushed to the bathroom and started dressing up for today's event. Thank you, Mr. Governor. Issues and challenges. There are a whole lot of issues and challenges. Number one, declining efficiency, declining productivity, over politicization of the civil service, low morale of workers. 
Mr. Governor, as a result of that expectations, the morale of civil servants is very low. Directors and permanent secretaries used to have official cars that helped them to boost their morale and productivity. But the last two sets of permanent secretaries appointed in the state have not been given official cars, and not to talk about the directors. Our appeals to Mr. Governor. We are looking forward, sir, to a positive consideration of the full implementation and the consequential adjustment of the national minimum wage in the state. Not just that, but to an upward review of salaries to mitigate the economic realities of the day. and provision of funds for the Civil Service Commission to conduct 2021 and 2022 promotion interviews in January 2023 and that of 2023 to be conducted before the 1st of July 2023. Mr. Governor, sir, these promotions have actually been appropriated for. for provision of official cars for permanent secretaries and directors as it was done in the past and as is still being done in other states in Nigeria. We ask for provision of work tools, particularly computers, to enable full digitization of the service in line with Mr. Governor's manifesto. We expect a repair and refurbishment, as well as the procurement of new buses to ease the transportation difficulties encountered by civil servants. <laughs> Approvals for trainings to build the capacity of the workforce for optimal performance is still part of our expectations. <laughs> Mr. Governor, sir, the appointment of permanent secretaries is expedient as this will improve productivity and further quicken the service delivery time. Mr. Governor, it might please you to note that every permanent secretary in this state now takes charge of two different ministries and it is indeed affecting productivity. Number eight, sir. We would like to have a repair of the driveways inside the Secretariat complex, as well as the dual carriageway that leads to the Secretariat complex and the new government house that is under construction. I'm talking about the road from Aroma to this place and probably to the new government house. We would like to have a big signboard with the inscription, Jerome Udod the Secretariat Complex, Oka Anambra State, in front of the Secretariat. The sealing and the expanding of the gutters in front of the first gate of the Secretariat Complex requires urgent attention. Mr. Governor, we will also want to urge you to make it possible for office furniture to be procured for use in the offices. And finally, Mr. Governor, we we'll want to ask that a repainting of the buildings and fence of the Secretariat complex be embarked on. I promise, sir, because um, as we are appealing to Mr. Governor to do some things for us, we also know that we have a responsibility to do the things that are expected to uh, expected uh, by the public from us. Mr. Governor, 
having showed Anambra State workers in both words and actions, under these few months you've been with us that you want nothing but the best for not just the workers but the state at large, as reflected in your transformational manifesto. We therefore pledge our full dedication and support to you and your government. We also vow to work assiduously well to see that your programs and policies aimed at transforming uh, their state into a livable and prosperous state are judiciously implemented. Awards. One of the highlights of today's location will be the recognition and confinement of the Distinguished Merit Award to the Commissioner for Lands, Professor Ofonze Amuchaze, S.A.N., for outstanding reforms in the Ministry of Lands. When he assumed office, um, after my first thought to the Ministry of Lands and other, other ministries in the state, within two months, he invited me back and on getting to the Ministry of Lands, he opened up to me on his programs for the Ministry of Lands and I gave him my encouragement. Since then, we have been working hard. I have visited that ministry three times this year. And each time I went to the Ministry of Lands, I would see something new. So we really want to appreciate the Commissioner for Lands. Merit Awards will also be conferred on 33 officers of various ranks, drawn from different ministries, nominated by their bosses and colleagues for their excellent, perf excellent performances in the last one year. Permit me to use this opportunity to congratulate all the recipients for their dedication and excellent service, while urging them not to relent on their cause. On the other hand, to the great workers, I want to urge you to continue putting in your best in your duties. In due time, your reward and recognition shall come as no good deed goes unrewarded. Conclusion. Before I conclude this keynote address, I must acknowledge with deep gratitude Mr. Governor, Professor Charles Chuku Mastoludo CFR, for his friendly disposition towards the yearnings and aspirations of the workers of Anambra State. The massive road constructions across the state, the employment of 254 medical personnel, and the employment of 5,000 teachers, whom he has given the opportunity to join the state's workforce. May I also Acknowledge the contributions of the College of Permanent Secretaries, Committee of Directors, and indeed the entire public servants in the state for their individual and collective efforts geared towards making the state a better one. Finally, I thank all who joined our distinguished guests to attend this ceremony and order the service. Thank you for your rapt attention, and may God bless you all, and God bless Anambra State. For the people. <laughs> all right. Mr. Governor, with your...
And may I have the honor and privilege of inviting Mr. Godno uh, as uh, I invite those that Four languages they recognize to be official languages. English, Igbo, Hausa, na Yoruba. So ni Igbo, so Bolo official language of Nigeria. So na Ibia na he functions. Aswaya no Igbo, Aswaya na gene ni Igbo. Oboli Igbo kwegi megene eswaya. Fantastice <laughs> Now keep our zombie alive, ba. Bo guy na your last the last year's own, okay? I be alive, ba. Ma waluku ohela where you na yo makanta vote. Tata. Onye kuneru no. Onye bialomba na yo yo vote. Tata. Onye kuweba bonyo no we nolo as the governor. Okay? You are the employers. I am your employee. As your chief servant. Okay? I can say can can now no 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 when no. Oh, any of my kids. Okay, boy. Be can no no nei phone na lola namra. Ma ke we pono. And where if I take a public service. I am a the public chief, public servant. Okay? Mana, I am one of public servants. I am a solution is here. Open one and make a solution. Chow up with it. But, but if you open an M, if you open a government, you deliver. The ministries are all here. All the ministries. We now have to. <coughs> 21 commissioners with several ministries. All, all these ministries and agencies, they make an umbra government believable. And now they say, they know that all mad name is believable. And I want to commend all of you, all the ministries, all the staff, of Anambra State Public Service. Onye Jezie Owalilie Goezion. I want also to congratulate the 33 or so that were specially recognized. They are distinguished. Mana Omin Rodandi Ozo Ezro Welu. Oku Nagot Ife Nebu. Asim Eto Noi Simwan Nege Congratulations. Naime Lofuma. Congratulations, Naima Lofma, for the year. Eh? Say congratulations, Nayamaka. All the commissioners, all the 21 commissioners, 
all the managing directors of all the agencies and so on and so forth, all the heads of the parastatals and so on. I want to commend all of you. I was telling the commissioner, commissioner for, commissioner for, uh, but I told the uh, head of service, you know, you know I'm an amount of politician. I say it the way it is. I told the com uh, head of service that it is not within her remit uh, to begin to decide which one did well or not. No, it's not within your remit to do that. You can have that for people who are under you, which is the people that were recognized. You cannot begin to come and tell me which commissioner did which and so on. They're not within you, they're your colleagues. And you cannot be setting exams for your colleagues. Thank you very much. And I needed to clarify that. Okay. So I, I told her that bit in Kojave, the Amwaka. Uh, each ministry delivered something this year. I bid all on the, on the 17th of March, and I bid all Wapri also. Our mission, I will on Nankwa, go to create a livable and prosperous homeland. Uno Google Makia. Uno Google Makia. A livable and gene prosperous homeland. That is the mission. And no one will get delivered. We've delivered the messages through the head of service to you severally. Yes, the public service there. Over this time of the year. But we insisted na on what okay but at twenty twenty three. I didn't be in areas. I did book you on I get mana tanke this year. At least I'm ready for the come for you rule na we say no thank you very much for the year. And since I but an all one, I said to learn it, now pound, all of us, together with all of you, we've been pounding on the five fingers of the Soludo Solution Agenda. Five fingers of it. Security law and order. We have economic transformation. We talk about the social agenda, reforming and the social agenda. We reforming the way government works. We say about the environment. I want a sustainable, planned, clean and green environment town cities and markets in case is your guy but i don't know my little one i'm brother eight local governments were totally taken over by the criminals not the mafia senafabu unknown government they are not unknown government they are known government on the move Passing the villages, Apota. Man, I said that we must take back our number from the criminals. And I think so far, from an even there, One madman, not a Finland, so they had to declare five days sit at home in the southeast. Also, no number came with a sit at home. Is your book, I say? Also, no number came with a sit at home. And now we'll continue to go. And on the day holiday, not I will stop that seat at home. We can't continue that way. You lose one day in a week, productivity is down, and so on and so forth. I know that several people have become used to taking for walking for four days and happy about it. But uh -uh. if we put in your house, someone in a pavilion, we are saying to fear that they will leave for their home. But. Uh -huh. No, we'll get back to work, full scale, working five days in a week. The criminals, we must take back our number. We cannot build our number to be that very prosperous homeland when we work for four days 
and when our children go to school for only four days, they are not to compete in the rest of the country. And I go out for five days. I go for four. Then we have a public service that works for four days. You cannot deliver the same thing as those who offer for five days. We must take back our state. We must take back the public service and the workers and the markets and so on and so forth to get on full charge. Otherwise, we are losing 20% of the five. If you are supposed to work for five and you work for four, it's 20% lost. 20% of the work lost to each week, you can calculate what it means for the rest of the year. We will take our number back because security law and order must come back fully na Anambra. The criminals must give way. Kunan even nepu on their lack of abo. There are nothing but kidnappers. Oh kidnappers kababu kidnapping for ransom. As an agitation. What agitation anything? Hundred percent in the IG de Bundibo. On Dibo ne me and Dibo. Up at the bloom mado. On all millions. On I know Kada said you buy more for Bulle for that kidnapping. Who kidnapped one with one million? He said you open a Nyawa Kada man. Who wants to continue? But that must end. On the economic transformation, what we have done in agriculture, launching the regenerative agriculture, trying to get back um, uh, a, a major industrial um, uh, parks to work, and so on. I mean, I don't need to bore you with all of those, but the very prominent ones is the issue of power. Power was signing a memorandum of understanding with EEDC to improve the power supply and also working with some private suppliers of power that over time our target more 24 to 36 months we want to be able to ensure 24 hour provision of power now number at least in the three major cities that is the agenda that we are working towards of course you can see that the street lights are coming back it was not possible to continue powering the street lights with diesel a design layer able with diesel when cost of diesel per liter was hundred and something naira and now that diesel began to cost eight hundred and something it became impossible to continue so we had to pencil down now we are gradually replacing them with solar that will be cost efficient environment friendly and so on and so forth we are replacing them We've done the first 5,000, we're getting on to do the next 5,000, and we'll continue to do that way. That is a more sustainable strategy, and we are coming. Of course, roads. Each one there, number one, for number two, roads. Each one for number two, for single roads. Each one for number three, for single roads. We declared a state of emergency, but can number one, a road crisis. We say, a Pumio guy in our election. I will declare a state of emergency, and in all the local governments of the state, we're having one road or more road projects going on as we speak. We have awarded more than 250 kilometers of roads. We've awarded more than 250 kilometers. Abone no no keba, depending on ebe no. Ega afuna o magalife ne mega one way or the other ebe cross or. Even from here now, once I leave here, I'm going on road inspection. No ke. I'm going on inspection because within the next 24 months, we must be able to deliver well, 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 well over 200 kilometers, and that will be unprecedented in the country, um, as it were. We have only been in office for nine months. Okunuma, we have just been here for nine months. Um, I don't want to even again in those nine months. Now, I don't need to bore you a whole lot of other things that we are doing in the area of commerce, in the area of uh, transport, and so on and so forth. But now, get down to our social agenda. We said we are ending the era of hospitals without doctors, consultants, nurses, pharmacists, and so on. General hospitals with no doctors and no nurses. 
and we have now, as you've heard, we have recruited about 240 something of them consultants and all the uh, medical uh, staff to our general hospitals. And two, three weeks ago, we handed over appointment letters to end the era of schools without teachers. We handed over appointment letters to 5,000 teachers within the first nine months of our regime. I put on to the end of my employment, I'm an employment at the beginning. And let me tell you this, what is unique about that recruitment is unprecedented in Nigeria for the following reasons. One is that it is 100% merit-based. It is openly transparent. And let me tell you, we're looking for the best no matter where you come from. Whether you are from Kogi or from um, Bangladesh or whatever, the interest of the child is to be taught by the best teacher available. to school. Everybody wants the best teacher for his or her child. And that's what we have set out to do. Preschool is a vocation. is a vocation. It's a calling. And you must only recruit the best. But the medicine, did you know my medicine? What a doctor, as a manager, doctor. Or well, I don't matter when we experiment. No. So that is unique in that a private state of origin and a bronc at the middle no merit based. And 5,000 of them are in the um, in Anambra teaching service. And we also assured them they will receive, and I want to believe Accountant General, I hope they receive their salary together with others. Where is the agent? He said they have, but make sure today, tomorrow, if whoever hasn't received theirs must receive their salary today. Must receive their salaries today. All the teachers recruited must receive their salaries today, uh, so to speak. We have some man, two, getting to 3,000 youths as well, who have been employed in various security and parasecurity enforcement uh, teams that we have, all helping to keep our number safe and keep us to maintain law and order. Of course, the head of service has outlined the various things going on in the area of um, uh, civil service and public sector reforms to enhance efficiency and productivity. That will continue to go, especially in the area of prudent management of our resources. Are you aware? Okay. Now listing. Now listing. Now listing. You need to hear this. When we came last year, this same point was met. When we came last year, the same points were met. That from February this year to date, NMPC has not remitted a dime to the Federation account. And the state of finances was such that we are not able to do everything at the same time. But we have to prioritize. We have to prioritize to the things that in their number need the best. Their greatest need is what, and that's why we got to also collect taxes. And for those of you involved in collecting taxes, we must. Anambra is not collecting anything. Anambra is collecting zero, less than one percent of its income as taxes. Lagos is collecting, projecting, collecting about 60 something billion a month. Anambra is doing only one point something a month. We don't have this. And so when you compare, you have to compare apple to apple.
and compare orange with orange. You cannot, next year, Lagos is expecting to collect 1.1 trillion, almost 100 billion every month from IGR. Anambra is still aiming to see if we can do <laughs> 2 billion or 3 billion. When they are aiming to do, Lagos is doing 100 billion. If you compare, what we have is what we will spend. But one thing we are sure in the Anambra, when every Kobo Batalanyaka, now we will use it, I mean, uh, judiciously. Every penny. And so far we are doing that. So far we are doing that. What is the, the entitlements of governor, fleet of this, this one and that, I think we slashed that for more, by, by more than 60-70% in terms of the cost of running either the governors or whatever thing, we've slashed that off by more than 70%. Whatever is not relevant, we cut off. For example, okay, but, uh, then we have contracts, hey, you will like, clean these, you have secretaries and offices and so on and so forth. Then we have several companies who have contracts, they clean over. They go and they clean your offices and buildings and so on before we came. 137 million a month. We found our cost to buy. That's what it was costing. But when we came in, we reviewed all of those, cancelled all of them, we reviewed all of them, and now, those same thing that used to cost 137 million now cost one, uh, 11 million. We are saving 126 million a month from cleaning of offices. Okay? Approve. I get put to go back the buses in order. ML approve. I get menka. ML approve. I get menka. Yes, we are doing this. We have done this. We have done this and so on and so forth. That's why we are able to do that. I na lo lo na lo mado, and I will come to say a few things about it now. Because when we came, pensioners had not received their gratuity since 2018. Are you aware of that? Pensioners who retired from 2018 until we came did not receive their gratuity. But we thought that that was not the way to go. Yes, immoral resources. But to watch these retirees, almost all 30 years, some 35 years, or whatever, on our retirement with a gratuity, yeah? we thought that that was painful. Come after as a Megane, a Tanyo. And we decided that under my watch, since I came, Everybody that retired from Anambra Civil Service has been paid their graduate Since I can. And in so far as I am here, if you retire tomorrow, we will pay you your graduate as at the time you retire. It's not only that we are paying them, we have paid everybody that they retired under my watch, but we have also gone back to 2018, every month, and we go on Kaifu, we go back to start paying on their retire since 2018. So, the pensioners, and for those of you in service, be rest assured that the solution, for as far as your gratuity is concerned, the solution is we have insisted and we will continue to insist that on the 25th of every month our workers must receive their salaries, must receive their alert. That is given. We are not taking it for granted because it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of hard work to do that. I have been told by some of my colleague governors, even from some of the states that are supposed to be high flying, that have, some have cut my operating costs, overheads, 50%. One told me they cut that as 50%. Some don't even provide that as well. 
Some are paying salaries in arrears. And paying salaries in arrears means you have cut salaries. Because Obo Namma the law three months, acquire two months, it means you have effectively done what? Cut the salary. That's what many states are doing. But we're not doing that, and we won't do that by the grace of God. We will continue to pay workers as at when due. That is a commitment, and that's a commitment we must look at. And I know what it is. Um, why not? Oh, my, oh, my, I will get your papa if I say, Oh, my, go, oh, my, go, oh, my, go, say, say, and age you go. Hey, man, if I get me, so we'll never do that. Now, while we are doing that, there are two things that have come up. Number one, with the regular, I understand every year, uh, and then we're over the past few years. And I go, okay, Christmas, I got a 25 kg uh, bag of rice. Okay, no, 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 I'm Now, let me tell you this. Let me tell you. It's important to say this. Because I'm coming to say a few things that are very, very profound. The state of Nigeria, it was And I want you to go home with it. Everybody is complaining. Everybody. Everybody is complaining. What was it? Prices are rising very fast. Very, very fast. I look at you and I wonder how we cope. I wonder how we cope. Yes. Hear me. Hear me right. Negente. Uno negente. But I do wonder how you cope. Because today, a bag of 50 kg bag of rice will cost 40 something thousand. That's beyond the salary of a graduate. Yes. That's beyond the salary of a graduate in the public service. So that's something, something is not right. Something is not right. And it is something all, get off your mind, all your megane. Everybody is complaining. You get by diesel. Diesel labor 100 and something last year. It's how much now? 850, almost 900 in some places. How many times increase? And yet, the income is not uh, increasing. The revenue of government is not uh, increasing. Your revenue is not increasing, and you cannot go and print money. But at the same time, what it will cost you to power the secretariat, what used to uh, uh, take you to power the secretariat in, a, in an hour, is now three, four, five, three, four times what it was costing before. And yet your revenue is not going up. You pay your salaries, what you can buy with it continues to go down. So I understand it. I feel it. I, I wish. I wish. I get when the revenue will go up five, six, ten, twenty times over. So that we can also multiply this in proportion to it to inflation Nigeria. That's what will be with me. But one thing I will tell you now. One thing I will tell you now. Given Ebe Mumasi, my own background, as somebody who is coming also from that side, as a worker, what we are not able to do for the working class, I said it to the teachers, 
what we are not able to do in manner or day, literally impossible. What we are not able to do, man or the impossible, because all no where God gets him here, there's no way we will not do it. And I will then address one or two things now. First is the issue of this Christmas rice. Part of the reason, we have two, three reasons why uh, we're not going to do that. Number one is that we we'll review the ethos he more great in the past. We we'll reviewed it. It was the Monday Zulu, Monday Zulu, Monday Mateno, Monday Mateno. My it was where got my it was here distributed. Monday Zulu 25, Monday Zulu, and so on and so forth. Second is the cost of it now of that 25. What it used to cost 10, 9. What 12,000 max is now way beyond. But third reason, but that we've come to also a conclusion. I'm listening to some pensioners who also tell me, they're putting it right, they're daily right, they're diabetic, they're daily right. Why not in here something to, uh, to take up? In Egente, I will tell you what we will do. And this is very difficult to do. Or the difficult to do. Because it would mean Niger forgo a lot of things that government will have to do. We'll have to forgo this, a few of them. What we will do instead, the short answer, Galebo, sorry, we can't afford it, and we go. Okay? That's the short answer. But all through yesterday, we were punching numbers, and we came to a conclusion that whatever it is, Obulugodo one naira, Obulugodo half naira, Obulugodo, whatever it is, that we're going to, we must bend backwards wherever we can, get something and put in. Obulu no nya cho no oku koko ne jie golu, jie golu. Obulu ifa koko ne jie golu. We'll make sure that everybody, all our 20 something, 30 something, 20 something thousand pensioners, more than 20 something, 30 something of them, Cambia. Always pay attention that we, we you, you all pray, you will all, everybody prays to live long enough to be a pensioner, isn't it? And everybody will also pray, Nayamu Seolo are retire, that as a pensioner, that the, the society must continue to take care of you. And therefore, when I mention pensioners, and I hear some people now like, you will one day be a pensioner. So, we must care for them. The motto of party Ono we robo men again. We care for the weakest. We care for the weakest. The, the, the weakest was the first point of our intervention. And that's why when we are doing these roads, we started with Okoko, where hundreds of thousands have been forgotten. We went to the places abandoned and forgotten for years. So, don't ever say about pensioners, when we say about them, I expect you to applaud. Because not get Louis. Eh? Yes. Ah, hey, get that going to be. Okay, for pensioners, and you go ahead, you go ahead, come on. Hey, get that pensioner. So we must, we must first of all think about them. They are no longer here. But we must come out there with Eva, there with me, and Eva. 
But all I said was to demonstrate good faith. To demonstrate not the I in the Guinea, no be. No Bologna, I wish we could do much more. And therefore, what I would just discuss with them, Ogamia, where and what we can cut. But even Nabweche, Abrazi, Ekube, I think in Abba, Iba, and Akubo, Una Motagalat, eh? Una Motagalat. Now, a lot of them salary, salary, and Fruits, I get just more belief. I got, I get received the alert today. Today, I go I get send the today. I get message. If I have 2023 and what is not in the budget cannot be implemented from your head maybe first of all no it is implemented according to that uh, budget so now any new thing I need put a add on a budget cannot be done but let me say something I have received a report. All guys from the unions. It could be something about this consequential days and blah 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 the review and so on. I have received just received the report a few days ago. But that's coming, that has come. It will require some minor adjustments uh, in the salaries of workers if Wait, I said, that's what they have recommended. That's what they have recommended. We're going to look at that. I just saw it. I just saw the file. And um, we're going to review that and see what is feasible, what is not. Because the first order of things that I assure you, today politician on Kembobo, what I tell you, you go to bank with it. Already, I do it, and I will tell you it is done. And you can take it that way. I don't speak from two sides of the mouth. And what I can say to you now, here, that we can do in almost from next year. Okay? I've talked about the, the difficulties, and then the rising inflation. Ideally, our inflation rate 
wages and so on in some countries of the world they raise if I, they bench, some benchmark to inflation rates and so on but we don't, we don't do it here we don't do it in Nigeria and I can understand because revenues don't uh, also grow uh, proportionately but to demonstrate utmost good faith this is the time like I said most states have difficulty paying salary most states have difficulties doing what paying salary here in Anambra we are not only paying salaries we are paying pensioners and we are also recruited thousands of workers and put on the wet bill but let me also add that as a demonstration of good faith and empathy and sympathy and understanding now prices are changing we will before we then study that there was some suggestion about some percentage to be changed but before we get to that we finish that study in the first instance i read it over amendment or whatever how we are going to finance it and all of that but i think the one we will try to do from january is to increase wages across the board by 10 percent across the board to everybody i'm going to increase wages across the board okay happy christmas also recruitment time five thousand teachers in the recruit no one will get the leukemia because my wife recruited and the way for young one so young one will just like so you can get out here and you give me ten thousand no no you go you are the way prefer you can get out here and you can get out here 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 I would like to tell you my camera. My camera, yeah, I'm going to move you. So I just say thank you very much. Here in the Federal Empire State, I am going to make a massive road construction. I want to know how to do this. I want to go for a minute. They will testify to that. Even I will go to you. So they can proceed. I want to know how to do this. We will be forever indebted to you. Thank you very much.